Yeah, but morning commute in Washington, it's uh, it strikes dread into people. It, you, you, for the Washington segment, you should change it to something else. We thought we would just capture people in here and then call it morning commute rendition. So let's talk about your column. Okay. The, the title itself was provocative, I think, hey, it's on very purpose. Provocative, but to compare but if you actually Obama read, if to you, Nixon, but if I you did, read I the didn't. piece, I think Carl, the tone in which he wrote it was much more thoughtful and 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 not nearly as provocative. But gee, I wish we had the author here. What do you, what do you think he would say? One well, I don't. Yeah, I wrote the headline. I can't hardly impeach my own witness. It's me. But that is what we were writing about. I was comparing Barack Obama to Richard Nixon, and not. Not Watergate, not saying he was a lawbreaker, but talking about his his sort of contempt for the news gathering process, for the for the facts. And if you think about it, by extension, contempt for the American people to to get it right. You know, everything has to be spent. Every single. But but thing. is is that just solely the Obama administration? It seems like the politicization of the White House. I mean, having. You know, Karl Rove in the White House. Everything is thought of both politics and policy at the same time. They're almost intertwined. So well, why is that different for Obama? But the administration itself has prosecuted more whistleblowers than all the other administrations combined. Yeah. Twice as many, in fact. Yeah. They've been ruthlessly aggressive. And, and you know, that culminated in this, in this AP tapping, right? And now we know there was... There was they threatened a Fox News reporter, right, as a co-conspirator, for basically doing his job. I mean, doesn't that sort of what, alarm what, you as a journalist? What, what? I mean, is there is there any standing that the, that the, I mean, the justice doesn't seem to be backing away from this, right? They seem to suggest that they did nothing wrong. Their story is they're not trying to chill the press or hamper the press or do anything to the press. They're trying to find the source within the government who leaked classified information it, to AP about an anti-terrorist operation in Yemen. That's But that's no different than well, Scooter Libby's prosecution. Well, right? just just wait. A minute. Yeah, that's my point. Let's just let's just so that let's give the government's to that's the government's side. The problem isn't that the government wants to find the leaker. The problem is is that the measures they took were so extraordinary, mm -hmm. historically extraordinary, and in violation of the ju justice department's own Guidelines, i.e., they didn't, they didn't, the attorney general didn't sign off on it. They mm -hmm. didn't, they didn't inform the news organization that it really, it really suggests, it really suggests that this White House doesn't understand the press's function and 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 doesn't respect the role of an independent press. It just doesn't care about that. They've, what they're interested in, they're just focused on. Yeah, but I think but myopically and it's troubling. Mm -hmm.